Hello and welcome to the Professional Advertising Design course. This is our seventh lesson. This is the design that we will be working on today. So let's begin. As usual, we will start by setting the design background. I have chosen this background right here and you can choose whatever background you like. Now I will add it to the design page right here. I adjust it like this. Now that's good. Now I will add this image right here. Now I crop this part right here. I will only need this wooden part, so I will crop it like this. I copy it. Now I drag it here to our design page. I adjust it like this. First, I forgot to add another background under this one, so I will add it right here. I go here. Now I will choose the color. Right, this one right here. Now, now I put our wooden part right here, like this the same size as the the background underneath it now I go here now I choose the color that suits me whatever color is fine by me as long as it serves the purpose now I chose this color right here I drop it down a little bit like this. Now I will add another image. This plate right here. I add it to the Photoshop. I crop it like this. I choose this tool right here. Then I start cropping like this. I keep going like this. Now I copy it. Then I drag it to the design page like this. I will adjust its size.
and I put it in the center like this. Now I will add the lemon. I add it to the Photoshop. I delete the black background. As I said before, when there is one color in the background, I choose this two right here. Then I press the light on the keyboard and it goes away. Like this. Now I will need only this part, so I will crop it and copy it and add it to the design page. <coughs> I put it right here. I will delete this part right here. Now I will get another picture. This one right here. I add it to the Photoshop. Then I will crop this part right here. Now I copy it, then I drag it to the design page, I adjust its size, then I put it like this. Now right click, then I go, I choose this one right here. Then I pull it up like this. That's good. Then I will delete this edges right here. Now I will delete these edges as I said. Like this.
how I will make these colors looks looks like. Now I'll make a little adjustment right here. Now I'll add the hand so that the lemon looks like a cup. I have chosen this cup right here. Now I will add it to the Photoshop and I will crop the hand. Now I start cropping like this. Now I will copy it and drag it to the design page. I remove this unnecessary pages like right here. Now I will adjust the size of the hand like this. Then I put it right here. Now I press Alt and the mouse like this, so that the shape looks like this. I go for the deleting tool, so that I delete some, some fragments right here. Now I make a new layer, then I press Alt and the left button of the mouse, then I choose the brush like this, the eraser, then I go like this. That's good, now I decrease the opacity. Now this is the cup shape. Now we will add some more effects. Such as these leaves right here, the lemon leaves.
Now we will delete the background as I showed you how before. Just remember to unlock the layer like this. The unlocking and unlocking way is different from one Photoshop to the other. So you have to be careful. As the old Photoshop versions, they require to, press, to double click on the lock button to unlock it. So as that, I, I recommend to have a new version of Photoshop. Not just because of this, because it's practical and it has new feature in it so it's better the new is always better now we'll copy it like this i drag it to the design page i adjust its size like this Then I put it like this. Now I will duplicate it. Instead of cropping many leaves, you can always just duplicate it, it makes things easier. And we will reverse it so that it not looks like the same one. Like this, I will reverse it and put it like this. I will alter its angle, as simply as that. So that it can look different from the other one. Although that is the same. Now I will add another image. The tea bag right here. I will add it to the Photoshop. I will crop it. Like this, I delete the background. Then I will crop the part that I will need to use. I drag it to the Photoshop design page. Now I will adjust its size. I put it right here. Now I will add another image. Another tea bag. I will crop this part right here. I'm not using the whole tea bag, I'm just cropping this part right here. Now I add it to the Photoshop. I drag it to the design page like this. I will adjust its size. I will delete this edges right here. Now I adjust its size and I put it right here.
No, that's good. Now I will add the water splashes. You can download ready to go water splashes as easy as you think, as easy as it is. You can download them from Google. Just type water splashes and you will find whatever pick you would like. Now I delete the background like this. Then I make it for another color like this now I will crop some of this water splashes only the little drops then I will adjust its size That's it. Just a little of water drops. I reduce the opacity. Or I'll leave it like it was. Now I will copy it one more time. And I drag it again to the design page. I adjust its size again. Then I put it right here. Then I will delete this big drop right here. Again, the same. Copy, drag, adjust the size, and put it right here. I will delete some of it drops like this I copy this drop right here then I put it right here again I copy it That's good. I copy it one more time. Then I put it right here. I adjust its size a little bit. Again, I will delete this big drop right here. That's good. Now I will add this spoon right here, I add it to the Photoshop, I delete the background, this one right here, this one, now I will adjust its size, then I drag it to the design page, and I put it right here. That's good. Now I will add the sugar cubes. I add it to the Photoshop. Not this sugar cubes. I will choose another ones where they are. Here they are. This is the one that I'll be using. I crop it like this.
Now I copy it, and I drag it to the, I, sorry, I grab this one too. I copy it. Then I drag them to the design page like this. I duplicate this one right here. Now I put it right here. Now I go to here. I go here. I select this one, drop shadow. I will adjust the settings like this. Then I copy the line sign. I paste it right here. So that the effects being copied from one sugar cube to the other. Now I duplicate it right here. I put it right here. I'll duplicate it another time. Now I will add another image. These leaves right here. The branches. I copy them like this. Now I adjust their size. Like this. That's good. You have to choose lemon branches so that it could be consistent. Don't choose apple branches or or anything else. Make sure to use lemon branches as the ones I'm using right here. Now I make the background with this color, then I add the background like this. Like this. I make its color. I adjust the color. You can go through all these colors until you find the one that suits you. Now I'll keep it like this, the normal, but I will reduce the opacity like this. As you see, this is the final shape of our design. I hope that you liked it, and I will meet you in the next course. Thanks for watching.